As many of you know, we have been talking about this model called the Four Pillars of Cooperative Governance. We've got teaming, accountable empowerment, democracy, and strategic leadership. But so what? Why do these matter? What is it about these that really are things that we should pay attention to? The reason is simple. Ask yourself why you got involved with co-ops in the first place. Was it just to have really cool shelves filled with food? Was it just to have some cash registers ringing? The answer is probably not. You've probably asked yourself, how can we strengthen our community? How can we have a food system that makes sense? How can I have access to food that is good for my body and good for my kids? And what we're talking about is impact. We want to have impact on the places that we care about, our communities, and so on. And the success of our co-ops is what we can do to have this impact. Now, if you look at the four pillars, you say, well, don't regular old businesses have teaming and they care about accountable empowerment and they care about strategic leadership? The answer is yes. In name, they have those as well. But there's two differences about why you should pay attention to this model. Number one is democracy. This is a differentiating factor for cooperatives and is a differentiating factor in our success and our ability to have the impact that we want. Secondly, while these are similar in name, they're different in flavor. And what flavors are our cooperatives? It's called the cooperative principles and values. The cooperative principles and values are the things that we use to make decisions about how we actually make these things come about and come alive in order to have the success that we desire, in order to have the impact on the world that we all dream of. Thanks.